Hello, I'm Tammy Taylor, president of Tammy Taylor Nails, and today I am so excited to share with you my brand new treasure chest collection. And this collection is full of dazzle, 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 inspired by a moonlit ocean and a treasure chest full of gold, silver, jewels, and diamonds. And I always like to make everything really fun, so we're going to have a treasure hunt. In every jar of the treasure chest prisma, you will have a ticket with a number on it. All you do is call my office before July 31st, 2013, tell us your number, and we will tell you what you won. Now let's get started. Now I'm going to demonstrate for you one of the craziest, funnest nail techniques ever. The Tammy Taylor Color Shot Nail Technique. What you're going to need is you're going to need a small glass dish, your Tammy Taylor nail liquid, and your Tammy Taylor nail lacquer. And what you do is you squirt a little bit of liquid into your dish, then you pour your Tammy Taylor nail lacquer into your liquid. There we go. And then mix it up. And you're going to make a ball of acrylic. Now dip your brush into your color shot. Wipe it away from you drag towards you in your crystal clear powder and make your color shot ball of acrylic. Now if you want to have more color you just add more nail lacquer and if you want to have less color you just add more of your Tammy Taylor nail liquid. Now I will be demonstrating the Tammy Taylor color shot technique using mermaid nail lacquer and moonlit ocean sandies. The nail is already prepared I'm going to apply my primer and apply my nail form. When you're applying your form, always make sure that you put a nice curve in the form before putting it onto the free edge. Then place it under the free edge, stick down the sides, stick down the little wings, make sure it's nice and secure, and then you have your form. The first coat of primer is now dry. I'm going to apply my second coat of primer just before I apply my acrylic. Now I take my brush and I dip it into my Color Shot Mermaid and then wipe it away from me, drag towards me in my crystal clear acrylic, get a nice ball, place this ball onto the free edge, pat it across, Pull in the sides, pat it across, pull in the sides, wipe off my brush, make my smile line. Get it just how I like it. Now I'm going to finish the free edge with my Moonlit Ocean Dazzle Rock Sandies. Dip my brush into my liquid, wipe it away from me drag towards me in my crystal clear. Then I'm going to drag across my sandies. Get all my nice little glitter on there. Place this onto the free edge. Kind of twirl your brush a little bit. Once you have your ball of your Dazzle Rock sandies, at the free edge you pat it across. Bring up the sides. Pat it across. Bring up the sides, even out the tip. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. And then very lightly, backstroke just lightly. Now apply the competitive edge, crystal clear acrylic over the entire free edge. Dip your brush in, wipe it away. Drag towards you in your clear. Place this ball at the smile line. Then stroke it out. 
wipe off your brush, clean up your smile line, and that seals your Dazzle Rocks. Now I'm going to apply Cover It Up Fresh Pink to the nail bed. I'm going to use a nice fresh towelette so I don't get any glitter onto the nail bed. Using a clean brush and a clean liquid, I dip my brush into my liquid, I wipe it away from me, drag towards me in my powder, get my ball, place this ball halfway down the nail bed, let it flow, and stroke it out side, side, center. Wipe off my brush, dip my brush in, wipe it away, get a very small wet ball, place this at the cuticle area, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off my brush, dip my brush into my liquid, wipe it away from me, drag towards me in my powder, place this ball right in the center. This is my stress ball almost at the cuticle area. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. The nail is starting to dry. It's no longer shiny. We're going to squeeze the C-curve. The nail is now dry. I'm going to file it with my long-lasting 180 Zebra, buff it with my clean finish buffing file, and then clean off the nail. The nail is now filed, buffed, and cleaned, and we're going to apply Top Gel Plus over the entire nail. Then we're going to cure it two minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The top gel has now cured and we're going to clean off the nail with Clean It and a Wipe It. And finish with Gardenia Conditioning Cuticle Oil. And now you have the Color Shot Mermaid Nail with Moonlit Ocean Sandies. Now I will be demonstrating the Dazzle Rocks Copper Sandies over the entire nail. The nail is already prepared and I'm going to apply my Top Gel Plus. Then take my scooper, get the Sandies in my scooper, and turn the nail over, press down, Completely cover the whole nail. Make sure the nail is completely covered. Then you're going to cure it for two minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The nail has now cured and we're going to dust it off. And now you have a Dazzle Rocks Copper Sandies nail. Now I will be demonstrating the Dazzle Rocks Treasured Pink Garnet Tapered Square Nail. The nail is already prepared, so I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. Then I'm going to apply my nail form. And always make sure you put a nice curve in your form before placing it onto the nail. And place it under the free edge, stick down the sides, stick down the little wings, and secure the form. Now remember in every jar of treasure chest remember to look for your ticket and call into my office and see what you won. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer so my primer is wet when I apply my acrylic and I'm going to apply my pink garnet Prisma Dazzle Rocks to the free edge. Dip your brush into your liquid Wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your Prisma, get your ball, place this ball onto the free edge, pat it across, bring up the sides, bring up the sides, wipe off your brush, make a nice smile line, get the nail just how you like it. When you're doing a tapered square, once you have your free edge on, you're going to bring it straight out from the nail groove, then you're going to start tapering it in. Now I'm going to apply the Dazzle Rocks Treasure Chest Prisma to the tip of the free edge. Dip your brush into your liquid, 
Swipe it away from you. Drag towards you in your Prisma. Get a nice ball. Place this ball at the tip. Pat it across. Pat it across. Then very lightly backstroke it. Tapering it. Tapering it. Beautiful. Now I'm going to apply the Competitive Edge Crystal Clear Acrylic over the entire free edge to seal the Dazzle Rocks. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your clear, place this at the smile line, and then stroke it out. Make your happy face. Now I'm going to apply the Covered Up Fresh Pink to the nail bed. I'm going to get a clean towelette so I don't get any glitter onto my nail bed. I have a clean brush, clean liquid. Dip the brush into your liquid, wipe away from you. Drag towards you in your powder. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, place this ball 32nd inch away from the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Wipe off your brush, dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you. This is your stress ball, place it in the middle of the nail, almost at the cuticle, let it flow, stroke it out, side, side, center. Now I'm going to squeeze my C-curve. The nail is no longer shiny. This makes the nail nice and narrow and strong. The nail is now dry and I'm going to file it with my long lasting 180 Zebra and buff it with my clean finish buffing file and clean off the nail. The nail has now been filed, buffed and cleaned and we're going to apply Top Gel Plus. Cure the nail 2 minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The Top Gel Plus has now cured. We're going to clean off the nail with Clean It and a Wipe It. And apply our Gardenia Conditioning Cuticle Oil. Now you have your Dazzle Rocks Treasured Pink Garnet Tapered Square Nail. Now I will be demonstrating the Dazzle Rocks Blue Sapphire Stiletto with an ice tip. The nail is already prepared, so I'm going to apply my first coat of primer. Then I'm going to apply my nail form. And when you apply your form, always make sure to put the curve in your form. Place this under the tip of the free edge. Press down the sides. Press together the little wings and secure the form. The first coat of primer has now dried and I'm going to apply my second coat of primer so the primer is wet when I apply my acrylic and I'm going to be applying the medium dark pink cover it up powder to the nail bed. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder, get a nice ball Place this about halfway down the nail bed and then slightly onto the free edge. And we're going to make it into a nice little chevron here. Give it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Place this about a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow and then stroke it out. Now I'm going to apply the Dazzle Rocks Blue Sapphire Prisma to the free edge. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe it away from you, drag towards you, get a nice little ball, place this ball at the free edge. Now we're going to outline our chevron and we're using this for color. We're not going to build the free edge because we're going to build the free edge with our clear. Get 
the shape just how we like it. Now wipe off your brush. Now I'm going to apply the Competitive Edge Crystal Clear Acrylic to the free edge. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your clear, get a nice big ball, place this ball onto the free edge area, and then just start patting it out, creating your stiletto. Just pat it out, bring it in, pat it out, bring it in. Now I'm going to apply the Competitive Edge Crystal Clear to the stress area. Dip your brush in, wipe it away, drag towards you, place this ball at your stress area, let it flow, and then stroke it out side, side, center. When the nail is no longer shiny, we're going to squeeze the C-curve. And we're going to squeeze it all the way out, accentuating your stiletto. The nail is now dry, and I'm going to file it with my long-lasting 180 Zebra, and buff it with my clean finish buffing file, and then clean off the nail. Your nail has now been filed, buffed, and cleaned, and we're going to apply the Top Gel Plus. Apply Top Gel Plus to the top of the nail and also to the bottom of the nail so your ice tip is crystal clear. Now cure the nail two minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The Top Gel Plus has now cured and we're going to clean off the nail with Clean It and a Wipe It. The top of the nail and the bottom of the nail then we're going to apply our oil, our Gardenia Conditioning Cuticle Oil. Now you have your Dazzle Rocks Blue Sapphire Stiletto with an ice tip. Now I will be demonstrating a full nail of Dazzle with Dazzle Rocks Treasure Chest Prisma. Now the nail has already been prepared, so I'm going to apply my primer. Then I'm going to apply my nail form. When you apply your form, always make sure you put a curve in your form. Place this curve under the tip of the free edge, stick down the sides, stick down your wings, and then secure the form. The first coat of primer has dried. Now I'm going to apply my second coat of primer so my primer is wet when I apply my acrylic. Dip your brush into your liquid, wipe it away from you, drag towards you in your powder. Get a nice ball, place this ball onto the free edge, and pat it out. I'm going to be doing an oval nail, but I still want to make sure that my nail comes straight out from the nail groove to make it strong. Then I can start tapering the free edge. Get it just how you like it. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Place this ball halfway down the nail bed. Let it flow. And stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush in. Wipe it away. Drag towards you. Get your ball. Place this ball about a 32nd of an inch away from the cuticle. Let it flow and then stroke it out. Side, side, center. Wipe off your brush. Dip your brush into your liquid. Wipe it away from you. Get a crystal clear acrylic ball. And this ball goes over the entire top of the nail to seal your dazzle rocks. The nail is no longer shiny and I'm going to squeeze the C-curve. This makes the nail nice and narrow and strong. The nail is now dry, so I'm going to file the nail with a long-lasting 180 Zebra and buff with my clean finish buffing file and then clean off the nail. 
The nail has now been filed, buffed, and cleaned, and we're going to apply our Top Gel Plus. We're going to cure it two minutes in a UV or 40 seconds in an LED. The Top Gel Plus has now cured, and I'm going to clean off my nail with Clean It and a Wipe It. Then apply my Gardenia Conditioning Cuticle Oil. Now you have a full nail of Dazzle with Prisma Treasure Chest Dazzle Rocks. And remember, at Tammy Taylor Nails, nails are always fun and never feel like work.